Hi everybody, in today's video, I am going to show you something that I will always have in my makeup bag. Now, as you can see my before and my after, this stuff is phenomenal. So if you have under eye bags, if you have puffiness, I'm gonna show you how to apply it correctly because this is a product that I've shared before on my channel, but I have had so many questions, so today I'm gonna to answer your questions. Today we're gonna to be talking about this. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Eye. I have shared this before on my channel. I've done a couple videos, but today I want to answer some of your questions that you've had on this. So this is a game changer. Whether you have allergies, my eyes don't look really puffy today. They don't, especially on camera. It's hard to see, but I do have some puffiness some days. It's, I have a lot more than this, okay? It just depends with my allergies, but I have seen this work on women that have severe under eye bags. It's something that I will always have in my makeup arsenal. So I don't use this every day for me. It just depends on your needs. I'm going to show you how to apply it. You're going to see me apply it because it's really, really important. That is one of the biggest questions I have gotten is how do I apply it? Why do I, am I getting a white cast? Can I wear an eye cream under it? Can I wear a concealer? You only want to use a tiny amount. Now, as far as an eye cream, I always use eye creams. I always put them on, but it's been sitting on for a while, so you can probably you know, barely see it, okay? You don't want to put an eye cream on and then put this on right away because if you do that, it's going to break up, okay? Now we're gonna just take a tiny amount. Do you see that little amount? Do you see that? That's all you need. And you don't want to overwork this, okay? So what you do, get your mirror. I'm gonna put it on with my finger and this might even be a lot. This might even be too much. I might have to tap it down, but you want to apply it where you need it and you don't want to overwork it. And I'm barely tapping under my eye. Then I'm going to just let that sit for a minute. As it's drying, you don't want to make any kind of facial movement or anything like that because we don't want to disturb it. But I will tell you as the day goes on, once you put this on, you can smile and do whatever you want and it is not going to move. It will last all day long. It won't crack or anything like that. Now, can you see the difference between this eye and that eye? It almost looks like I put a filter on my eye and I'll even put my head down like this so you can see the difference between this eye. See how it's still a little slightly puffy and this one, this one's gone. Do you see that? And even though I have a little bit of darkness under my eye, that doesn't even look as bad. Do you see how it looks like my tear troughs almost got filled in, like I got filler under my eyes? Yeah, this stuff is amazing. So let's do the other eye and then I'm gonna show you how to put concealer on because you might be someone like, I still have some discoloration and I wanna do that. So let's do the other eye and I'm gonna show you how, again how easy this is. I'm just taking a tiny bit. And that is one of the important keys of this is again using a little product. I think some people are using too much and you don't have to use a lot of this, okay? So again, I'm gonna go ahead and right in here and I'm going to tap this on. We're not gonna overwork it. I'm barely tapping this in. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on or anything like that. You'll, you'll actually feel it getting tighter as you put it on. Now, look at my eyes now. Do you see that? See, neither one of them look looked like puffy and again my eyes aren't really puffy I have days where they're worse but look at that it looks like I put a filter under my eyes you can use a concealer but if you do you want to use a formula that's not a you don't want to use a creamy one you want to use like in a pot you know what I mean you want to use one that's a little thinner in consistency use a tiny bit and tap it on I've shared that in other videos but today I'm going to do something a little bit different I'm gonna use a powder foundation. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it on my brush, and then I'm just going to tap it on. So you're gonna get coverage, but it's not gonna look cakey or anything like that, and you'll be able to conceal that area. We'll be able to see the, both sides of it. See the difference between 
See the difference between this eye and that eye? Right in that area where I, need, where I normally would conceal. So it's just another option because I know it depends on the concealer that you're using when it comes to this. You just want to tap that on. You don't want to disturb it and pull it or anything like that. Let's see what it looks like. I can smile, it's not cracking or anything like that. Okay, so I am gonna zoom you in so you can see what I look like now that I have all of my makeup on. So I'm gonna repeat this again. The key is the application. You don't want to apply this right after you put eye cream on. You can use an eye cream, but you want to let that sit on for at least a good half hour before you apply it. You want to use very, very little product. If you use too much product, then what's going to happen is you may have that little chalkiness. You're going to have to wipe it off and start again. Tap it in with your finger. Leave it alone. If you have a little dryer, you know, like a little face fan kind of a thing. You can use a little face fan to dry it. You don't want to smile. You don't want to do anything as it's drying and you will actually feel it's getting firm under your eye. It lasts all day. And if you want to apply a concealer, you have to be very careful with applying it. You have to use very little. You just want to tap it on. You don't want to mess with it. Okay, and then you gotta leave it alone. The key is not to mess with this. You don't wanna over mess with it, but once you get the hang of it, I'm telling you it is the best. If you have puffiness from allergies, if you have under eye bags, it will change your life, guaranteed. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys all in my next one.